Hi students, I try in this educational video to technologically introduce the relationships between strain and displacement and also between stress and strain in the case of a slight bent plate, of course, as simply and as clearly as possible. Okay, let's go. Now I'll explain the model that permits to develop the relationships between normal strains and displacements. So, uh, we consider a plate before deformation, depicted here in blue solid line, and it's considered in the plane defined by the directions x and y. This plate is depicted in blue dashed line after the deformation, and as you can see, the point A is displaced to the point A prime, with u as x component of this displacement, and V is the Y component. And the B is displaced to the point B prime with U plus the variation of U along X as X component and V plus the variation of V along X as Y component. And the point D is displaced to the point D prime with V plus the variation of V along Y as Y component and U plus the variation of U along Y as x component of course of this displacement it remains the point c which will be necessarily uh, moved to the point c prime now let's examine the normal strain along x denoted by epsilon x this normal strain along x should be equal to the quantity circled in red minus the quantity circled in blue divided by dx so finally, we obtain a normal strain along x equal to du divided by dx. So we can say that the normal strain along x is the variation of the x component of the displacement along the x direction. Similarly, we can determine the normal strain along y denoted by epsilon y as the difference between the quantity circled in red minus the quantity circled in blue divided by dy and we obtain finally a normal strain along y equal to the variation of the y component of the displacement along the y direction now i'll explain the model that permits to develop the relationship between shear strain and displacement as you can notice in this model the shear is defined by two angular distortions, phi1 and phi2. And uh, the shear strain xy is the sum of phi1 and phi2. Now, when we examine the angular distortion phi1, we find that it's defined by dx and the variation of v along x. And since phi1 is considered enough small, phi1 will be equal to the quantity circled in red divided by the quantity circled in blue. Similarly for phi2, phi2 is considered small enough and it defined by dy and the variation of u along y and it's equal to the quantity circled in red divided by the quantity circled in blue since as i said it's considered small so phi2 is expressed as it is indicated in this slide and the shear strain xy will be the sum of course of phi1 and phi2 and will be finally equal to the variation of v along x plus the variation of u along y. Finally, we can say that the shear strain in the plane xy is uh, equal to the sum of the variation of the y component of the displacement along the x direction plus the variation of the x component of the displacement along the y direction. Now, for the stress strain relationships, you can notice that the normal stresses, sigma x and sigma y, are expressed in terms of mechanical properties of the plate and the normal strains epsilon x and epsilon y. And the shear stress 2xy is expressed also in terms of the mechanical properties of the plate 
and the shear strain gamma xy. And inversely, we can express the normal strains epsilon x, epsilon y in terms of the mechanical properties of the plate and the normal stresses sigma x, sigma y. And also, the shear strain gamma xy is expressed in terms of the mechanical properties of the plate and the shear stress to xy. That's all for this educational video. Please mention all your remarks and suggestions in the comments. Thank you very much.